Hi, I'm Jen Zosky, Chief Information Security Officer of New York Presbyterian Hospital. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about the Healthcare SBOM Proof of Concept. I was one of the co-chairs of this effort. We're very excited to share with you what we've learned and what we're planning on doing. The motivator for me stems from basically being an information security professional for years in healthcare and thinking about the WannaCry outbreak and how during that crisis, it was hard for me to identify vulnerable devices because I didn't know the software components of certain medical devices. And I'm excited that we have a pathway for addressing this risk that is faced by hospitals and frankly, folks in any industry vertical. And I'm Jim Jacobson, the other co-chair of the SBOM proof of concept. The goal of the proof of concept was to show actual results to show evidence to medical device manufacturers, such as the company that I work for, Siemens Telconeers, that you could deliver actionable information ahead of time and give proof to medical device manufacturers that it's worthwhile to give this information to healthcare delivery organizations so that hospitals have the information they need at the time of urgent need to prepare themselves for dealing with the risks associated with cybersecurity. So the result of all of this proof of concept work was that we were successful. We proved the case that you could transmit this information from the medical device manufacturer to the healthcare delivery organization and have them make use of the information and successfully manage their risk. As Jim stated, the proof of concept was a success. Key to this were four discrete use cases, procurement, asset management, risk management, and vulnerability management, of which we were able to leverage software bills of material and identify efficiencies and operational opportunities, all made possible because of the software bill of materials. We didn't have that level of visibility before and for my team and our biomed team, this was really exciting. I should point out that we had three medical device manufacturers and four healthcare delivery organizations that were part of this effort. As we'll talk about next, we're moving into a new phase of this project and we're having even more organizations join. Manufacturers of medical devices have the understanding that we need to support our customers in managing their risk. The goal of the proof of concept was to take incidents that have come to light recently about vulnerabilities in, in medical devices and show that the SBOM, the software bill of materials, is a way to get the customers prepared for the results of managing vulnerabilities. So as manufacturers, we came across through the proof of concept and came to a realization that during times of significant vulnerabilities or incidents such as Ripple 20 or Urgent 11, we can use the same information that we are providing to our customers, but use it ahead of time to prepare for these vulnerabilities and incidents rather than dealing with them on the fly in a scramble. So if you're interested in finding out more about what we did in the first phase of the proof of concept, you can read the report at ntia.gov slash SBOM. And there you'll find, about, find all about how we went about it, we, what problems and successes that we encountered during the operation of the proof of concept, where we can go from here to the future. And the future is where we will define the next phase of a proof of concept and how it becomes a reality. So in the next phase, we really want to show in a practical way how software bills of material can be generated, ingested, and utilized end to end in an electronic format with no human intervention. To do this, we've brought in additional medical device manufacturers, additional hospitals, and we're bringing in tooling vendors who can help with this. These are vendors who can help generate SBOMs, there are vendors who can help us utilize these from a CMDB or CMMS perspective. It's very exciting to see the broader stakeholder community, the ecosystem of folks necessary for the 
realization of our, our vision for this. If you're interested in joining, reach out to Jim or I. We're glad to have more folks join. And again, I, I, it's really important to stress that this is a cross-industry effort. Yes, this is happening in hospitals and with medical device manufacturers, but we're utilizing industry agnostic standards. And this is very doable, and we're excited to move on to the next phase of our proof of concept.